Hello and welcome back to the channel. No, I have not gotten shorter. I've just raised up the standing desk for today because, as you can probably see, there's an item here in front of me. Appropriate that I would be taking a look at this on a standing desk. This is Moft Z, the world's first invisible sit-stand laptop desk. This is currently available on Kickstarter. I think the cheapest that you can pick one of these up is $49. That's the super early bird. The early bird's like $54 and it sort of goes up from there. I found out about this product from the company themselves. They reached out to me, but I did a quick search and it looks like they've done another Kickstarter last year for what they called the Moft, which was just a stand that you attach to your laptop to allow you to raise it up. This is a full standalone product that, as you can see, does have several different modes. You have the standing up mode, that's what a lot of people would be wanting something like this for. The sitting mode, which looks very similar to their existing Moft product, and then different angles that you can actually use it for in that sitting mode. So you can have it as low as 25 degrees, as high as 60 degrees. Me when I realize that I don't actually have a laptop here on me. I should probably go grab a laptop. All right, prepared. Let's see if there's any other information here on the back of the package that I don't want to miss out on. There's the dimensions, very similar to a sheet of notebook paper. It says it is a half an inch thick. 31 and a half ounces, which is just under two pounds. Height when in use when standing, it's up to 10 inches tall, as low as a half an inch. Again, instant sit-stand conversion. It has a Z structure. It's kind of like an origami structure. Adjustable sit-stand angles can hold up to 22 pounds. This thing, which weighs like less than two pounds, is supposed to be able to hold 22 pounds. And it's made of PU, which if I remember right, is like a fake leather fiberglass, magnets, and iron pieces. Let's open it up, see what comes in the box, see what you would get if you backed it on Kickstarter. That is one thing that I'm gonna mention. Anytime I make a video about something that is on Kickstarter, I don't make anything from affiliate sales or anything like that. If I do, I will let you know. But basically, if I'm talking about something that is available on Kickstarter, it's because the company usually reached out to me and it's a product that I think is kind of interesting or cool or, or useful. So there you go. This is the Moft Z. You can see just how thin it is. At the widest here, it is supposed to be a half an inch. I don't have a ruler on me or anything. There's the Moft branding here at the bottom. This is supposed to be a laptop flap. You can see there's two little flaps here. I'm not gonna bend them at the moment. Kinda wanna wait until I get everything set up. That's something that I thought was kind of funny. If you watch the video on their Kickstarter campaign, and I do recommend you watch it, you see a lady setting up the Moft Z, but when she's setting it up, it's like the magnet jumps up into place on the back. So it's very clear that they took the video and then they reversed it. So they took the video of her putting her laptop away and putting the Moft Z away way then reverse the video to make it look like she was pulling her laptop out and setting it up. So anyway, I thought I would go through the whole process of setting it up. I have watched the video a couple of times, but I don't have documentation or anything in front of me showing me how to do it. So if we fold it open, we fold it up. There's a section here. It says designed by Moft. This is where that magnet should be. Then this section here in the middle should pop out. Oops, fell down. Need a third hand. So if you look at the underside, there's a section here that has a little cutout. So you can kind of push on that. And when you push on that, it pops this section up. So you get that popped up, you get this piece with the magnet popped up, push it back, magnet in place. Then the same kind of thing for up here, where you push this out, folds down. That was pretty straightforward, pretty easy. And those two flaps that I mentioned earlier are down here on the front, so you're not gonna use those in the standing mode. It doesn't sit quite flush, but obviously there's no weight on it at the moment. But if I push down on it, you can probably see it compresses a little bit, but it's sort of fighting against itself and holding itself in place. And I think before we go too much farther, let's try a couple of laptops on it. So 2016 MacBook Pro, this is sort of my everyday driver. If I'm taking a laptop that's not my work laptop, this is the one I'm using. I think it's like two and a half or three pounds, not very much, but if I open it up, sit it on here, yep, it's solid. It's steady. If I sort of turn it sideways here, obviously it's really high up, so I can't really do much on it at the moment, but it feels firmly in place. I mean, there's a little bit of rock to it, but less than I would have expected for something that is this thin and this lightweight. But what comes next? Let's really challenge this thing with the Alienware 15 R4. I've had this laptop for about a year now. It's about seven pounds. Let's see what it does. All right. And just kind of looking at it in the monitor, I can see that it shifts and adjusts, but I mean, even touching it, it feels solid. I mean, there's a little bit of a wobble to it, but not much. I mean, the fact is it's not wider than the laptop is, so it's not going to provide you a big, firm, sturdy base, but it is firm and sturdy. And yeah, I mean, just playing, typing around, I don't have this powered on at the moment. I think that could be very comfortable. That is surprising. Shouldn't say that it's surprising really, because in their Kickstarter campaign, in their videos, and their, their gifts that they do about it, 
they stack book on top of book on top of book on it. And it looks like it does sink down a little bit in those images, but it doesn't collapse or anything. So, so far I feel very confident in this thing. Let's see if I can figure out the other angles. Of course, before I show you the other angles, let's just see how difficult it is to fold it back flat. So I'm gonna grab this little flap here and put my hand on the bottom and just pull. And that is that. I fumbled a little bit with it because I expected it to fold one way instead of the other, but. That definitely wasn't bad at all. And setting it up took even less time. I don't know if I'm gonna show that or not, but yeah, just folding it flat is basically do this. That's very simple and very straightforward. So in terms of other angles, what can we do? I'm guessing we fold this backward. We pull this magnet up again. That gives us one angle. That's a very steep angle. Then I immediately missed it. This is one angle. This is like the 60 degree angle. So you could technically put a tablet on here or something and have just like a writing surface, a drawing surface, if you wanted to put your iPad Pro on here. So that was 60, the other one was 45. I'm not so sure about this last one, but we will see. Well, I guess that definitely would work as well. So all I did there, you open the magnetic flap up, you take the main section and you just put them together. There's a little bit of magnetism to it, not a whole lot. So this would be the 25 degree angle where you can sit your laptop. Again, I don't know if I would put the seven pound laptop on at that angle. Let's just fold this up a little bit, get it seated in there. There you go, 25 degree angle with the MacBook Pro on it. Then we'll flip this around again. 45 degree angle with the MacBook on it. There you go. That that feels solid, actually. That's not bad. I don't know if I would use this for typing or anything, but if you wanted a better angle, you wanted to get your screen higher without standing up, that would work. And then of course the 60 degree angle, I'm not sure how this is gonna work with the laptop. This is more tablet friendly, I think. Yeah, this laptop, the screen does not fold back 180 degrees or anything like that. So maybe if you had a two in one where you could fold it completely flat, but it's holding it, I mean, Again, it feels solid, it feels sturdy. And I think that's where I'm gonna wrap the video up for today. If I could just remember that this folds down that way, just to see if I can do it. Let's get it back into position. Okay, we are in the full upright and locked position as it were. Then we take it and we pull it and we close it. Uh, it's slow, but it's getting faster every time. So I'm very impressed with this thing. To be honest, looking at their Kickstarter, I kind of thought that it was gonna be a paper-based, you know, cardboard product, but this is very solid. It does say it's fiberglass in the description. Magnets seem to hold really well. It's got a variety of angles. I will admit, I purchased a standing desk for my work, for, for the job that I go into on occasion. And it's one of these things that, let me just go get it, this thing. And this thing, while it does get the job done in terms of being a standing desk and being convertible and having all kinds of options, look how thick that thing is. This thing is probably a little bit heavier than the Moff Z, but just put them side by side. Yes, you can get a lot of angles out of this and it actually has built-in fans, which I've never used. But I mean, the setup time for it, you're folding legs down and you're pushing this and you're pushing that, trying to get everything at the perfect angles and it will work at just about any angle which is again, very nice, but this is less origami and more hope that it works out. And yes, this does provide a decently solid, stable surface as well, but I think this was about the same price as the Moff Z, and I can fit this into a backpack where I cannot fit this. Folding this up, the buttons are very hard to push. I know it's been sitting in a closet for a while, but still, just in terms of preference, this is something cheap you can buy on Amazon that's still like $40. This, if you get in on the early bird campaign, is like $49 you will have to wait until they ship, but I'm looking forward to that. And actually, I'm gonna take this into the office with me today, so maybe you'll see a little bit of extra footage of me using this in the office. There it is on my desk at work. Seems pretty solid. Typing on it, it gets a little wobbly, but not bad. Now I've got an iPad on it, 45 degree angle. But anyway, I think that's where I'm gonna wrap this video up for today. Thanks so much to Moft for sending this out for me to take a look at. This does not feel like an early prototype or anything. This feels complete and consumable. The package did arrive bent and damaged, but it was shipped with styrofoam around it and a plastic cover and everything. So it was not damaged in any way. And just double checking the Kickstarter, it says the estimated delivery is May, 2020. So they apparently have these ready to go. The retail price is gonna be $69 and it looks like shipping is around $10. So 
if you get in on the early bird, it's going to be $59, which if this is something that you need, if this is something that would be helpful, $59, I think is kind of a reasonable price. So I'll put links to where you can find it down in the description over on Kickstarter. If they go to another site like Amazon after the Kickstarter is over, I'll put a link to that down there as well. That would be an affiliate link, meaning that if you click the link that I provide down below, I would get a little commission. Doesn't cost you anything extra. But during the whole Kickstarter campaign, I don't get anything from them other than the product itself. So again, thanks to Moff for sending this. Thanks to you guys for watching. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video down below. Subscribe to the channel if you want to get notified when new videos come out. I'll see you again next time.